for birdie for Zach Johnson. Now he gives it to Clark. Clark the four and two winner. Well done for Darren Clark. Three and two. Uh, twice a winner with Westwood. And now a winner again. And the emotion just... Coming out there, almost like Tiger Woods at Hoylake with uh, Steve Williams. You think it means anything? Be a part of a winning side like this, after having lost his wife Heather. He was made to feel so important and wanted on the team. He certainly deserved to be there and part of that winning side. And the American captain Tom Lehman there with him. And now Ian Wisdom. How he would have loved his wife to have seen this. And it's down to Woozy because Woozy picked him for the event to uh, give him this moment in his home country. Some people thought it might be a gamble, that the emotion might be just too much for him, but uh, he handled all that, uh, Darren Clark, and has come through brilliantly. Now, Ram, to win this for two and one victory, get you up to 12 and a half. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now he's excited. Oh, now no. he's excited. <laughs> Oh, the emotion comes pouring out of John Ram. Absolutely sensational. The youngest man on either team. But now this low up the hill, shooting right. Wow, what a putt. Oh, McElroy with his third birdie. Somehow win this hole, the matches are over. This looks good. Oh my! Americans really should compose themselves here. Every TV in Europe's tuned to this right now. playing in a historic match more than anyone in history. His 41st Ryder Cup match has assured the fact that the USA can't win, can only hope for a tie, and a tie would retain the cup. <laughs> Sevi Ballesteros, as emotional as anyone in the European camp, Captain Bernard Gallagher. And Curtis Strange, a heartbreaker, finishes five, five, five on three, four pars. Ballesteros has started the day. You think these grown men, these millionaire players, don't care deeply? Going through him, his poor body right now. That, I thought he might have had it. Hit it firm. And now, well, that's in it. real trouble. O'Connor conceded it's 13 to 12. O'Connor has won at last in the Ryder Cup. 13 to 10. One more point is all Europe needs. <laughs> to retain the Ryder Cup. Ben, I can't believe how we're falling on our face on the 18th hole. Peter Costas, you're down there. Are you getting a flavor of it with the other guys? Are they around? Talk about Sam Torrance crying. Look at Christy O'Connor, Jr. That's a great scene right there. There's the captain, Tony Jacklin. 
Ben, they've had some spats before in the, in the past, haven't they? Yes, they have, and uh, I think Jackman showed himself to be a very big man in picking O'Connor this time. Just trying to get out with the three. against Patrick Reed following him in. <laughs> the oh, most astonishing that. singles match ever. I think even Rory, he might give him a high five. Yeah, nothing. What, what a hole. Yeah, I think it actually swings a little left to start and then the right kicks in off this little mound right there. Wow! It's a Justin Leonard putt, but the same speed, same 17th. The putt of the week. to win the cup. Let's hold it. Europe have won back the Ryder Cup. Paul McGinley from Dublin has got the half point that was needed to ensure that Sam Torrance and his team win back the cup after three years. And look at Sergio Garcia jumping about there. Magic moments here at the 18th. Someone's in the pool. The Ducks are getting a bit of a fright there. <laughs> and Warren Humphreys made up uh, the commentary team here. That's Paul McGinley who's in there. It is, too. And he produced many of the facts that were so important for this week. And the Open Champion Cup is good. And the Open Champion lets loose. 
That's fantastic right there. Look at the emotion. Played it well. Hold it. And has. And has. I'll tell you this. Isn't that unbelievable? Isn't that unbelievable? Azing at holes from the bunker at the last. Justice from Tony Finn now hitting the woodwork. Maybe Tommy Fleet we could be the man to put that right for us. One up, three to play on its way down the slope. Make it there, make it there. Tommy Fleet with you, legend. And look what it means to Tommy. It's a huge part in the context of this game. You're desperate to get something blue on that board. And Tommy Fleetwood has just delivered a fantastic birdie. You can't replace somebody. Do you let him play his way into form, or do you ride him and hope he turns it around? Oh, but you're best player in the world if he doesn't bring you any points. Wow. Justin Thomas finally holds one. A huge putt for Thomas and Cantley. They needed that. Shots like that is what makes the Ryder Cup so special. Well, there's your way to finish the Ryder Cup. Hey, there you go. What a moment for Alex Norris. Look at this. And the celebrations begin again. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> Certainly got enough club on this. Needs plenty of height. It is a beauty, it is an absolute gem. Look at the passion. Beautiful chip foot from Justin Rose. He said about the passion there, Tony. I just hope there's not enough passion for him to rip his trousers as well. <laughs> oh, what a fantastic atmosphere. And how about that for an approach? 
watch another Ryder Cup video, click here and subscribe here.